Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, have been a united partnership at the forefront of the country throughout the PM's political career, but no more. Their separation in August 2023 shocked many people who questioned their previous appearance of harmony. They have made the decision to separate after 18 years of marriage. The couple announced the unexpected news on social media. A joint statement on Instagram read in part, Sophie and I would like to share the fact that after many meaningful and difficult conversations, we have made the decision to separate. As always, we remain a close family with deep love and respect for each other and for everything we have built and will continue to build. With this recent split in mind, let's take a look back at the couple's relationship history. Justin and Sophie first crossed paths as children growing up in Montreal, as Sophie was a classmate of Justin's youngest brother. Sophie told McLean's of her childhood memories of the Trudeau house. They had a really cool pool with a trapeze and ropes, and we could play Tarzan for hours. We would hide in the closets to have our first kiss. In 2003, the two reconnected when they were assigned to co-host a Starlight Children's Foundation fundraiser. Despite their immediate rapport, Justin wasn't ready to give up casual dating just yet. Justin recalled, we laughed, we joked, and there was a definite chemistry between us. And I sort of realized, okay, this is someone I have to take seriously. Because of this, the future PM deleted Sophie's follow-up email after their initial reconnection. It wasn't until the end of the summer when the two bumped into one another again, and they ended up sealing the deal for a date. About a year later, the couple became engaged. The whirlwind romance between Justin and Sophie continued into 2004, with the couple becoming engaged in October. Recalling the proposal, Sophie told McLean's, I call him my prince because he treats me like a princess. He really went out of his way. There were candles and rose petals everywhere. I felt like I was a princess. The two were married in Montreal in May 2005, when Justin was 33 and Sophie was 30. The couple drove away in a 1960 Mercedes-Benz that once belonged to Justin's father, Pierre Trudeau, Coincidentally, the only other prime minister who got divorced while serving Canada. Two years after their wedding, Justin and Sophie announced the birth of their first child. Xavier was born on October 18, 2007, meaning he shares a birthday with his late grandfather Pierre. The couple's second child, Ella Grace, was born two years later, in February 2009. In a birthday salute to his daughter, Justin wrote on Instagram, you always keep us on our toes, and we love you so much for it. The final addition to the Trudeau family is son Hadrian, born in February 2014. On his ninth birthday in 2023, Sophie penned a tribute to her youngest child on social media, posting, We waited for you with so much love. While Justin and Sophie will be living in separate residences going forward, the public was assured there would still be plenty of photo ops to capture the whole Trudeau family. A statement released by the Prime Minister's office read in part, Both parents will be a constant presence in their children's lives, and Canadians can expect to often see the family together. They remain a close-knit family, and Sophie and the Prime Minister are focused on raising their children in a safe, loving, and collaborative environment. Justin Trudeau grew up in a political family, with his father Pierre serving as Canada's Prime Minister from 1968 to 1979, and again from 1980 to 1984. While Justin studied literature in college and was a teacher for several years, he eventually followed in his father's footsteps, after some hesitation. Ah, the politician already! <laughs> no. Never. 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 I'm gonna be a teacher. In 2007, Justin began campaigning for the same role his father once held, and won the Liberal Party nomination in 2008 and 2011 before finally being elected as Prime Minister for the first time in 2015. He was re-elected in 2019 and again in 2021. In a 2014 interview, the soon-to-be Prime Minister opened up about the impact his political ambitions had on his marriage, telling the CBC, Everyone knows how challenging it is to balance family responsibilities with a job that takes me across the country and working extremely hard. There are times when Sophie hates my job, and she hates me for loving my job. There are some who have even speculated that, in the end, it was politics that contributed to the end of their marriage. Nelson Wiseman, a political science professor in Canada, shared his thoughts with NPR, noting, the separation may have been partially driven by an ultimatum from Sophie that Trudeau not contest the next election.